Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Gary Turner, her ex-husband, and his family recently competed on Celebrity Family Feud. The Golden Bachelor squad faced the Bachelor team on Tuesday night and Bachelor Nation won against Family Feud. Jerry Theresa, Theresa's children Jen and Tommy, and Jerry's daughters Angie and Jenny were all standing on the Golden Bachelor team. Joey Graziade, his fiancée Kelsey Anderson, Charity Lawson, a previous bachelorette, her boyfriend Doden Olubeko, Zach Shawcross, a bachelor alum, and his girlfriend Katie Bigger were all on the bachelor team. Jerry and his family emerged victorious in the end. Theresa was the first competitor to participate in the Fast Money segment, and she appeared uncertain about her decision to do so. Are you ready? Post host Steve Harvey. Theresa responded, No, but whatever. I'll go ahead and do it nonetheless. The audience and other competitors chuckled in response. Steve asked, Are you out here against your will? In all seriousness. Theresa answered immediately, Yes. Fans laughed at the fact that they are now divorced while watching the game show, even though Jerry referred to Theresa as his wife. The Golden Bachelor family is so funny Renes, since they got divorced, a user commented on X. In bold letters, someone else commented, not the Golden Bachelor on Family Feud when they're currently divorced. A third commented, lol this is awk knowing they are divorced. Another person stated, Gary and Theresa still being together when this filled is crazy since it feels like a lifetime ago. E-N-D-I-N-G-I-T, the pair wed in a televised ceremony in January. That was not to last, though. Three months later, the couple shocked the country by announcing their breakup. They broke the news in an exclusive interview with Good Morning America, admitting that their long-distance romance was failing. Jerry stated, Theresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and we've looked closely at our living situation. We've decided that it's probably time for us to call it quits on our marriage. Their divorce was completed on June 13. On the Bachelor team stood Joey Graziade, his fiance Kelsey Anderson, former Bachelorette Charity Lawson, her boyfriend Doden Olubeko, Bachelor alum Zach Shawcross, and his girlfriend Katie Bigger. In the end, Jerry and his family were the winners. During the Fast Money segment, Thurza was the first contestant to play and looked unsure of her choice to play the game. Host Steve Harvey asked, Are you ready? Thurza said, No, but okay. I'll do it anyway. In response, the crowd and other contestants laughed. In all seriousness, Steve questioned, are you out here against your will? Without hesitation, Theresa said, Yes. As fans watched the game show, they found it humorous that they are now divorced, despite Jerry calling Theresa his wife in the show. The Golden Bachelor family is so funny Ernest, since they got divorced. One wrote on X, another said in all caps, Not the Golden Bachelor on Family Feud when they're currently divorced. Lol this is awk, knowing they are divorced, a third wrote. Someone else said, Gary and Theresa still being together when this fill this crazy since it feels like a lifetime ago. Kel and J-I-T-O-F-F. In January, the couple got married in a televised event. However, things didn't last long. The two shocked the nation by announcing they split up three months later. In an exclusive interview with Good Morning America, they shared the news and that they couldn't make their long-distance relationship work. Former Golden Bachelor speaking candidly, Kathy Swartz discusses her husband's startling suicide. She posted on Instagram about how she overcame that terrible period of her life. What was it that she said? Continue reading to learn more. Speaking on grief following her husband's suicide, Kathy Swartz. Former Golden Bachelor Kathy Swartz used Instagram to talk about her experience grieving and her husband's death. 
She revealed to her followers that five and a half years ago, her husband took his own life. She claimed that she was immobile when it first happened. Kathy said she was unsure of how she would continue. She lived in this manner for the next six months or more. She disclosed that other individuals attempted to counsel her, but none of it resonated with her. She didn't listen to anything that was stated to her till someone approached her and informed her that she didn't need to accomplish anything that day. She was also informed by this person that grief has no time limit. They added that feeling better has no time limit. Kathy now wanted to give some guidance to all of her admirers. She advised anyone going through a difficult period, no matter what it is, to simply practice self-compassion. Kathy continued by saying that although mourning has no time limit, time does assist. It's crucial to understand that grieving is a necessary step on the path to recovery, she said. Her post was captioned, G-R-I-E-F. I had to relearn everything I knew about grieving after my husband passed away. Among the best tips I could offer is to give up on it. Instead, take a walk, teach R-O-E-G-H it. Kathy Swartz has led the greatest life since her stint on The Golden Bachelor. Susan Knowles became her best friend, and the two of them co-host a podcast. She and Susan work well together and are always a pleasure to be around because of their funny remarks and anecdotes. Even Kathy has made jokes about Joan Vasas, the golden bachelorette, sending them her leftover men from the season. These two women aren't giving up on their quest to find love once more. Do you think Kathy should tell about the pain she felt when her husband committed suicide? Watch this space for additional developments. Kathy Swartz speaks on grief after husband's suicide. Bolden Bachelor alum Kathy Swartz went to Instagram to speak about grief and what she went through after her husband died by suicide. She opened up and shared with fans that her husband committed suicide five and a half years ago. When it first happened, she said she could not move. Kathy shared she didn't know how she was going to go on. She continued surviving like this for at least six months. She revealed that many people tried to give her advice, but none of it stuck with her. Nothing anyone said got through to her until one person came up to her and told her she didn't have to do anything that day. This person also told her there is no time limit on grief. They also said there is no time limit on feeling better. So now, Kathy wants to pass some advice on to all her fans. She noted that anyone who is going through a hard time, whatever that may be, to just be kind to oneself. Kathy went on to say that time does help but there is also no time limit on grief. She said it's important to realize you have to walk through grief to get to the other side. She captioned her post with, G-R-I-A-F. When my husband died, I had to relearn everything I knew about grief. Some of the best advice I could give is to not fight it. And instead, walk T-H-R-O-E-G-H it. After her time on The Golden Bachelor, Kathy Swartz has been living her best life. She found a best friend in Susan Knowles and the two are even doing a podcast together. She and Susan make a great team and always keep everyone on their toes with their hilarious comments and stories. Kathy has even joked that Golden Bachelorette, Joan Vessos, should send them her leftover men from the season. Neither of these ladies is giving up on finding love again. What do you think about Kathy talking about the grief she went through when her husband died by suicide? Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.